I try my best to avoid sleep at all costs. You see, sleep is so unproductive. I can't get anything done while I'm sleeping. A lot of people use sleep for dreams. I prefer to step out and live my dreams. So, it is 4.50. Uh, just got up. No alarm clock, of course. Um, but yeah, I just got up. I got a lot of stuff to do this morning before the kids get up. So, figured I'd get up a little bit early and uh, knock some of that stuff out. Awesome. <laughs> make sure that uh, everything's in tune musically so here's what I typically do uh, hop in here basically it pops up you know all these recommendations based on what I normally watch which as you can see is I listen to motivational music and I watch motivational videos uh, so today we're gonna go I try not to go with stuff with words first thing in the morning uh, I prefer just like instrumental, just get the music, you know, just get the music right. Let's go with the best of epic soundtracks. That sounds pretty good. Each day as I rise, I make sure to thank God for all the things that I'm thankful for. Once the mind's right, then it's time to start putting things into action. I set goals where I want to be by the end of the day, the week, the month, the year plans for the future, with my family, with my career, with my friends, with myself. Once I get rolling, there's no stopping me. I'm out on the course, or I'm in the gym, I've got the music bumping, headphones are on, I'm ready to take on the day. Usually by the time you wake up, I'm already three hours ahead of you. You're going to have a really hard time catching me. I've got that fresh start. I pull into work and I just can't wait. Can't wait to attack. Can't wait to see what we can do next. What I can create. How I can make a difference in people's lives. With a smile, with a handshake, with a car. I make sure that I'm, all of my employees are, are happy and encouraged and well taken care of. We don't allow any negativity around here. It's just simply not allowed. We understand that we're all on a mission. We're on a mission to achieve our individual goals. We're on a mission to achieve our collective goals. And ultimately, we're on a mission to make a difference in this industry that has gotten such a negative stigma associated with it. And so it's our job every day. I don't take days off. We're closed on Sunday. Sunday's when I get to hang with the family. Sunday's when I get to relax. Sunday's when I get to tune out. God made the world in, in, in six days or made everything in six days. And on the seventh day, he rested. So I'm okay with that. Those other six days, though, I grind. From morning till night, I grind. It matters. Everything that I'm doing, I realize now. I understand. I didn't used to, but I understand now that it matters. There's so many people that are counting on me. They're counting on my success, my creativity. They're counting on me to, to follow through with the things that I say I'm gonna do. I've got people in this building that I've brought in, friends and family members that I've hired, that I've given opportunities to, and I know that they've got families, they've got kids to take care of, they've got dreams to fulfill. And so it's my job to make sure they have every single opportunity to do that. People are looking to me for guidance. They look to me for leadership. They want me to help show them the way because they know 
that I've struggled. They know my past, they know who I am. I'm completely transparent in everything that I say and everything that I do because I want people to understand that just because you're down doesn't mean you're out. Mr. Les Brown said himself, if you can look up, you can get up. That's the philosophy I live by and that I want to share with everyone. Kindness, love, understanding. These are all things we practice every day, things that I train on, things that I try to share with outside vendors, people that come into our dealership and they say, how do you do these things? How are you achieving such massive levels of success? And I tell them it's easy. You just got to put yourself in the customer's shoes. Put yourself in that person's shoes and just treat them the way you would want to be treated. It's all biblical, it's in the Bible, you can read it, you've heard it before. You just gotta take the action and do it. My creative team here at Dan Cummins is just incredible. Brandon and I have been putting videos together for years now. There's so much fun to be able to just come up with, a, with an idea, with a concept, and, and scratch it out real quick. Sometimes we don't even write it down, we just, we just grab the camera and we go and we produce such fun content. We're trying to build fans, we're trying to, to give people an inside look on something that's incredible. This dealership has grown from 120 cars a month to 850 cars a month and it's grown strictly and, and specifically because of the people that we hire and the creativity that we encourage. We have so much fun. Some people have asked me how I got here. I got to this point where we've been able to experience these levels of success and it's it's simple really. It, it's, it's just a formula. You've got you've to gotta wake up early. you got to get up. Get out of bed. you got to have an attitude of gratitude. Write down what you're thankful for. Write down your goals. Set up a plan. Set up a mission. When you go out, try to leave people with a sense that they have gained by having an interaction with you. Make sure you're in touch with your faith. Make sure you're in touch with your body. Be healthy. And just make sure that every day you're giving it all you got. So ultimately, I'm blessed. Incredibly blessed, actually. I've got two families. I got a family at home with my five beautiful kids and my gorgeous wife that I love. I get to spend seven nights a week with them anyway in a couple days. And then I got my guys here. This is family number two. I get to spend days and hours and, and, and just time with these guys that I love, my friends, my family. We're all on this mission. It's incredible. We're all on the same page. We're all chasing the same dream. We've all come through it all together. We've seen this place grow from where it was to where it is today. People ask me all the time, you know, you sleep four and a half hours a night. How can you sleep four and a half hours a night? And it's, it's, it's really simple. A day in my life is just filled with blessings. From the moment I wake up in the morning to the moment I get home, I mean, when I lay down and put my head on that pillow, I just can't wait for the next day to start. I really can't. The kisses I get from my kids, the handshakes and hugs I get from these guys, why, why would you want to sleep? Forget sleep, man. We can all sleep when we're dead.